What is up, my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters? This is Rob, the XRP 007 channel, coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach, five out of five. And the title of this episode is the re-evaluation of the new financial system could happen by this date. And XRP could instantly settle at $300 per XRP. It is sooner than you think. Watch this episode to the end. Leaves me smiling. And we are just one, just a reminder, we are only one news event from sending XRP to the moon. It could happen, I always say it when you least expect it. I think I heard that today as well uh, from a couple of people. And also, uh, last call for alcohol, this is worth repeating again about dates, is that for accumulation, I've been thinking about the coins I have missed out on. Out there, I talked about crypto bubbles yesterday and looking at saying, is there any left that have not popped off? So I got a list of coins that have always been my fave list. I'm going to go see where they are in terms of their all-time high if I'm going to be adding to my roster of tokens. But anyway, according to Waters Above Crypto, that last date a window to be buying is up until February 24th. It could be sooner than that. This whole market just seems like it just wants to bust at the seams. But anyway, I'm going to be taking a look at that as well. Uh, and also, the mental approach to life is that uh, never forget that the only person that gets in your way is you, as you think you become. So anyway, I need to apply that. That's so why I stuck it back out. I always keep this around. I need to remind myself of that as I start into 2024. And again, it's not what happens to you in life, but how you react to it. So I want to put my best foot forward on another year coming up. I can't believe it. And again, thank you as always. We're only just a little bit outside of a thousand subscribers from reaching that beautiful 10,000 subscribers. Cannot wait. It's going to be music to my ear. So if indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notification, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for. What is today a hump day? And also correction in yesterday's video, I was talking about these other coins that have popped off like Caspa and Engine. Thank you so much for correcting me. My math was way off on that. I guess it was like wishful thinking, but anyway, actually better to my surprise, a 3,000% move in XRP would put XRP at $18. A 30,000% move would put XRP at 180. Uh, in the first 2017, 2018 run, XRP did a 60,000 plus percent return. Whoa, which would give you what? Uh, right around 360 bucks. But anyway, $18, yeah, that's very attainable for XRP in this bull run, absolutely. And a $9 doing the CASPA move of a 2,000%, uh, I think that's very obtainable too. Uh, quote of the day. Oh, just also just remember, uh, Raul Powell says uh, 2024 will be the biggest crypto market ever. And he says, uh, whatever you do, says, don't part with your crypto until 2025. And you know what? You might want to wait a little bit later. Watch this episode of the end. You'll know what I'm talking about. And also, once again, it's just all this stuff kind of just all folding in so nicely together. I've been still watching Fiat Leak like a hawk, trying to see any kind of movement between Japan and just seeing that price move. So, yeah, we are at... at, at to me, we're, we're staged and poised. I think this is going to be our liftoff number right here at that 60, 63, 60 cent, uh, 6 cent range is going to be where we gauge our, when we look back in history on where we uh, calculate those moves. So uh, the what I like about Catal and the bank is that he says by the end of the year of uh, 2024, every bank in Japan will be using XRP. And but what I didn't know, which is worth repeating again, is that their entire ecosystem for Japan will be running on XRP, and that is like 19 trillion, which would equate to a $190 XRP just with the 100 billion XRP supply if you take all of it put together. And then I think that's why he says that the price of XRP will just explode. Uh, quarter of the day, Jeremy Hogan says, yes, yeah, sure can. Cases can settle over a beer Saturday around midnight. So maybe maybe it ain't over till the fat lady sings. Let's see what happens. And according to Business Insider Worth, again, trying to take a look at this snapshot. We're going to get a lot of talk in the news today about black swan events and also just, you know, everything that's happening in this whole big world event stage that we live in. And uh, back on... Uh, Business Insider, they said in most Americans, and this was because uh, this is JP Morgan, kind of interesting they're putting this out. Americans, most 99% of Americans will be financially worse off than they were um, the um, pre pandemic by mid 2024, right around July. So, what events will we see happen 
that will worsen the economy between now and then, uh, time will tell. And this just in, um, you know, the BlackRock, which I thought was really exciting, I mentioned yesterday, that they're going to be putting in $10 million into Bitcoin uh, at, on the poker table on January 3rd. Days away from that. That's going to be beautiful. And I've been watching a lot of videos. I know you guys have seen them all too. And I've been talking about it for about two or three weeks. This absolute wall of money of this fresh new institutional money. And you just can't put in perspective what a, a, a shortage it's going to create on Bitcoin and a, a absolute overwhelming demand. So that's a simple math of on uh, you know what makes something valuable is the supply and the demand a rare asset. So it's going to make it awfully rare when all these people come to the table. And then also just speaking of BlackRock, this was kind of neat. We're realizing that they're putting 10 million into Bitcoin on January 3rd. But apparently, uh, and we're trying to fact check this along with others, that they're JP Morgan and BlackRock have a combined 7.5 million in XRP already. That kind of leaves me smiling for a number of different reasons. One day I may share. Uh, yeah, and then just also just put this in. We did not get that settlement, which I wanted. We talked about and lamented about for just a number of different episodes that it did not come by Christmas. But someone pointed out that the Baba Cugs timeline and scale suggests us it doesn't end until January 18th for a settlement window, according to that. So just correction on that. And also some of the dates that we're looking up, up and beyond that is that one is in March. I think it's March 23rd that the ISO 222 goes live. Maybe it's the 19th, but I think it's the 23rd. Comment down below if you know that. So that's a, a really another great indicator that you know, things are all kind of lining up, working in our favor. Everybody's supposed to be uh, um, operational by then. And then by November 2025, they want everybody on using it, uh, just full board. Uh, and also the Bitcoin halving, that's going to be right around April 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. So when we get the Bitcoin halving, that's just all these events are lining up for pump, 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 pump. The spot ETF, that's one. And also I was talking about in the Truman Mill yesterday about how there was a XRP uh, ETF. That's going to happen in Hong Kong. I thought it was Hong Kong, but sure enough, that's going to happen in Kong, Hong Kong. So the uh, spot ETF in January, March, we got ISO 222. April, we got the Bitcoin halving, so it just really looks great for the first part of this year. Also, we are in election cycle, so that means they want to paint a rosy picture, so everything's going to be done to make the economy and make us go boom, boom, boom. All right, so, uh, and also for a little TA down by the beach, and we're going to get to the last bit of this episode, because I got three things to cover with you. All three of them leave me smiling. They really do. We're going to begin with a little TA down by the beach. Why that leave me smiling? Of course, the scientific investor says that uh, XRP will make millionaires. And he's according to his TA, and he's setting up this time frame in the next two to three months that XRP will be making its move. That's 60 to 90 day. Makes me want to set another 90 day clock, uh, uh, countdown clock to see by the end of March, are we multimillionaires or millionaires in in this space by the end of March, 90 days away. I can last, I can last. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, this was out floating around and really quite interesting and it just made all the videos. I'll put my little spin and take on it. This was from e -Greg Crypto talking about, he had a conversation with a gentleman who was with a tier one bank. He didn't know who e -Greg was and long story short is, you know, uh, he had some secret information and then he told this banker, I'll tell you who e -Greg Crypto is if you share what you know. And so he said, yeah, I'm e Greg Crypto. And then the, what he knew is that he showed him where he thought the price of XRP was going to be. And it matched up with e Greg's charts, which puts XRP at $2,500. You've all seen it by now. And it has this uh, date range between the year 2027 and the beginning of January, 2029. So the end of 2028. So what that basically means is that we got five years that XRP will go from where we are now to a $2,500 per XRP. And this banker was smiling, going, you're on to something. You are. It just put a smile on his face when he saw that. What did he know that we don't know? So anyway, if you think about it, let's say that we get a $10 XRP with this scientific investor, make multimillionaires and millionaires in this space within the next 60, 90 days. And so if you just do the math on that, you're basically getting another 250X from a $10 XRP to a $2,500 XRP in less than five years. Don't believe it is true. And this also kind of uh, uh, a few, um, and this is the juicy stuff, all right? 
uh, a few posts from Inside Sources. This is talking about that reevaluation that I mentioned in the title of this episode uh, that indicates a reevaluation re in early January i.e. no later than January 15th, the first two weeks would be considered early January. And this actually coincides with uh, Brad Kimes' latest video I watched. It's an interesting fellow up there talking about the debt clock and how the debt clock is changing. The money supply over in the M2 with all this debt is going down while the money supply on the U.S. Treasury notes going up. So something's happening in the background. So it does kind of coincide with that. And that uh, on this money going up on the U.S. Treasury notes, that will be backed by commodities. Where have we've heard that before? And so this is the kind of beautiful part. It says, and that's also confluence with Jerome Powell talking about potentially how we have this global stable coin and that adoption will be fast and wide when you least expect it fast and wide and the reason why they say fast and wide is fast is because it's not fast they've been working on this for over 10 years if not longer this build out process that Ripple's been doing and all the legwork that's happened years and decades before in this, but it's going to seem fast. But they've all just getting ready to go to flip the switch, right? And then the wide part is what we've known and what Ripple talks about in chasing uh, uh, cross-border remittance payments. That's not the big dog. The big dog are these big, massive amounts of money that move in between governments. That is the wide part, and that's where you have this massive amount of wholesale payments being going through. And so th that begs the question, what will the price be of XRP in two weeks? Well, if you follow the Robert Michnik model, Robert Michnik was a former employee of Ripple. I hope I got his first name uh, right from memory. And guess where he landed at? He's at the head of digital assets for a little known company called BlackRock, the largest asset uh, uh, manager on planet Earth with 11 trillion under man management. Well, he created the Michnik model and in, in this prediction, he pre pre predicted that XRP at a minimum would reach $352 per XRP, possibly in as short as little less than three weeks. Uh, for me, all three scenarios, the one, the two, and the three, leave me smiling. If I have a $10 XRP in, uh, in three months, man, I, I'm, I'm swinging from the chandeliers and swinging from the vines in the jungle for sure. And then, you know, give me half of that. Give me, you know, we're, we're looking, you know, I call it more like a $12 XRP. So give me $12. I'm swinging from channelers. But if I only have $6 XRP and I can get a 6% or 8% yield on that, that's it. End game. And then number two, if we ended up having a $352 XRP, well, throw a bucket of ice. I mean, to pull me up from fainting on the floor on that if that happens in two or three weeks. I mean, <laughs> and number three is if we happen to see that $2,500 XRP anywhere between 2027 and 2028, I'm buying an island. That'll do it for me, everybody. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.